Uh, I mean, I knew it was the right decision all along. Um, I guess, yeah, Friday when I, you know, kind of finalized it was when we went through everything and, you know, really made made the the decision. And this is where I wanted to be. You know, this is where uh, my NFL career started. And as a player, you want to finish where you start. And, you know, that's my ultimate goal. So. Was it an interesting process? It was a very interesting process. Uh, yeah, free agency is obviously something different that players don't go through a lot. But it's a process, you know, and you got to enjoy it. And so it was fun. You feel like you still have more to show this team what you can do even had some injury issues last couple of years? Absolutely. Every year, you know, you gotta come out. That's the thing about this business is you gotta show what you can do every year. And I'm looking forward to working with, you know, some of the new guys, uh, Joe and uh, you know, new offensive coordinator and stuff and I'm excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Had some success with Kedda through the years, and then obviously the Niners have had some success. Do you look at some of that on the post tapes and get excited about how the QB you used? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, one of the first conversations that uh, you know I've had it was you know looking at what Kittle did last year. Um, then obviously, yeah, you look at Joe over the years and you know tight ends he's had and what they've done. So definitely look at all of that. I know you. Uh, don't want to get hurt. Injuries happen, but is, have you talked to like Lauren or Greg or anybody just to see is, is there anything you can try to do to maybe uh, you know? Right. I know the I know the red going into red year is, five, Mike. You think we haven't had those conversations? I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it's just try, look. You can know that I do everything in my power to be out there on the field playing, um, and you know that's. That's all I can do, you know, and that's I, I do that. I have that mindset every single day, you know. Um, so they, you know, I have a very good relationship with Lauren and the trainers and everything, and they know how I am, and you know, they know that I would literally do anything to to stay healthy and do anything I need to do to keep my body, you know, where it needs to be. Last year, that last injury was especially frustrating because you were having, you know, your Best year by far. Yeah, it was, you know, it was very frustrating. Um, it was just, yeah, you know, it was one of those things where, you know, I got, uh, you know, I took the shot, you know, kind of got the wind knocked out of me. Um, and, you know, it was kind of one of those things, you know, I caught my wind, got back to the, you know, sideline and, you know, just kind of telling myself, you're good, you're good. And I uh, went back out there for a couple more plays and, you know, it really was kind of feeling, you know, I was feeling at that point. Um, yeah, it was frustrating because, you know, it was one of those things that I I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was a, you know, I should have been done for the year. Um, but, you know, when you have a punctured lung um, and that pneumothorax type thing, it's one of those, it's hard to get cleared in, uh, you know, four or four or five weeks, you know, and I think when I got hurt, it was, maybe six weeks left of the season, five or six weeks. So it was kind of on that, you know, that fringe. Um, you know, play out, if we would have made the playoffs at that point, I would have been cleared and, you know, healthy and good to go for, for that run. So it was kind of frustrating, you know, just the situation we were in as a team and, you know, having to be put down for the rest of the year was, was tough. Do you look at that 10 catch game against Houston of what you can be when you're at your best? Yeah, I mean, I, trust me, I study. I do a lot of self-study. Um, I look at, you know, not just that game. I look at all kinds of, all kinds of different, uh, you know, situations I've been in in my career, and you know, try to, you know, build off of all of it. So, what do you think Joe Flacco will bring to the table as quarterback for you guys now? A lot. Um, you know, I hear a lot of phenomenal things about Joe. Um, his play-action ability. Uh, you know, obviously you watch, you know, a lot of. His his games, his his uh, his throws over the years, and you know some of the things he's done, winning the Super Bowl and stuff like that. So I'm you know super excited, uh, you know, to get to work with him and go from there. Anything else? You gonna buy new uh, golf clubs now? Or you gonna? Oh, I got that contract I signed yeah. last year. If I, no no new clubs for five years. <laughs> so I gotta make what I got work. <laughs> Signed another contract too, uh, to your wife. Yeah, we we got married uh, February February sixteenth, two 
two days after Valentine's Day, so I'll never forget the anniversary. Cool. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.